the outside of the world. We are not used to talking about the outside of our indoctrination, outside of our knowledge rooted in ineffective schools and TV shows crafted for effective advertising, and beliefs which are always blind and presented to us by a loving family member. To get a better look at ourselves, we must first understand what a human being is and where we are currently in our growing up in the universe. Many complex and often impenetrable problems that can only be prevented arise from friction between reality and the way the world currently functions. And there are levels to the functioning of our world, as things tend to feed off of each other. Our world brainlessly builds as it can build. It is not in fact carefully arranged with great vision and wisdom. To give a few examples, false leaders are everywhere. Predatory pricing of medicine, ineffective education, indoctrination of children into completely made-up fantasies, and the use of the concept of money to choke humanity poor. You have to understand that these are not islands of opportunity for purpose of power, profit, wage, slavery, and easy control, but layered towers of exploitation and sometimes corruption that exploit traditions, loopholes, lack of real education, and the dark age. Anything and everything that is legal, though maybe unethical, and whatever is politically advantageous. High prices of otherwise cheap medicine are legal but unethical, and false campaign promises that politicians always festoon themselves with are always non-legally binding and make the voter for a fool. These systems of exploitation often petty, are not very easy to visualize because they are opportunistically grown at a time where it is possible and sometimes optimal. And they stick as their large momentum just keeps them going and an education ensures that a fool is in fact born every minute. If a system has leadership, then the leaders will emerge on their own. The influencers rise as a function of randomness and opportunity. There are no schools of corruption or exploitation, no serious world conspiracies, though many fools trapped in a fantasy of superiority may convince themselves that random acts are in fact their doing. Therefore, there is nothing to trace here. There is nothing to prove or comprehend, to map out. The thing is because it happened, because at some point there was something there to take. It is important to note here that the opposite of systems of exploitation are systems of wisdom, systems that honor human greatness. But all it takes to collapse a system of wisdom and fuel a new dark age is rendering schools ineffective and burning the libraries, or just the books. The future of humanity is not found in merely the opposite of systems of exploitation, but in empowering each and every individual with real education and profound wisdom. Human beings, when left to grow free, are good, they are noble and beautiful, meant for love of wisdom, for greatness, and great health and adventure. 
But we are way too easily corrupted because we tend to blindly believe whatever we are born into and as a result, very easily exploited or turned into some tool. All it takes to keep creating followers, voters, loans, sales, and the fool every minute is keeping everything broken, ineffective, deaf, dumb, and blind, and in fear, uncertainty, and disbelief, while making effort to improve the world look outstanding and breathtaking without actually changing anything. We must each learn to gain a good view of the world, and that is achieved by rejecting all the broken things that surround us, many of which are trying to kill us or shorten our lifespan, and building ourselves up the right way from the beginning. Find all the world's most profound non-fiction books written by clear thinkers and held in high esteem by all the world's intellectuals and earn your triple crown by walking the Appalachian, Pacific Crest and Continental Divide trails, taking time away from broken things and spending it out on the trails while inheriting wisdom and culture from great beings is a really good new start. Here you will not be a part of some system of exploitation that is always trying to stretch, warp or mangle you in some other way. You will stand free well outside of these organically grown patchworks. Perhaps in your rise away from darkness and indoctrination, you will find a way to begin enabling each student who is still stuck in this complex world with personalized and meaningful education so that the world may begin growing inside out. Do not need that strange shell that wraps it. Or perhaps in your rise to the free world, you will have already found it and become a trail guide and so much more.